Hello, this is Python Pyro. Today, I'll show you how to create a Telegram bot that will make Taylor Swift kiss you. Just kidding. I'll be creating a bot that can perform auto-posting, for example, news, from one Telegram channel or multiple channels into yours. But before we dive into it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. This time, we'll be using the Pyrogram library and a user bot. I'm making the necessary imports and creating a client object. Upon the first connection, you need to specify session name, API ID, API hash, and go through the authorization process. After that, Pyrogram will create and save a session file. So next time you only need to provide its name, as I did. I'm writing the main part of the code, importing date time to display the bot's launch time, but it's not mandatory. Then I write the main handler, which I'll modify in the process. In Pyrogram, a function under the decorator must take two arguments. In my case, client and message. For testing, I'll simply print the received message to the console. Great, it works, so let's continue. I'll put a cute cat face as the avatar for the Telegram channel where the bot will copy posts. Now, I'll write the chat filter. This filter can accept the username of a channel or chat group, the ID of a channel or chat, allowing passing even closed channels, or a list of multiple targets with their usernames or IDS. To demonstrate its functionality, I run the bot. As you can see, it doesn't work in private messages anymore but works on the target channel. I write the copy method for messages we want to duplicate. You only need to pass the username or ID of the channel where you want to copy the message. However, I anticipate that it won't always work correctly. Returning to the target channel, I write several different messages for testing, intentionally choosing these variations. The last one I sent had a message with two photos. Why did all the photos come separately? It's simple. In Telegram, each media is a separate message, but they can have a common attribute. Media group ID, which links them together. Therefore, media groups need to be copied differently. Using an if-else statement, I'll write two message handling scenarios for media groups and regular messages. Now, I'll try sending different messages again. I already know in advance that the code won't work as intended. Let me explain why. I accounted for the media group, but its messages are still separate with different message ID. So the on message handler reacts to each message and sends the media group as many times as there is media in one post. To ensure the media group is copied only once, I'll create a set to say media group ID. When processing the first message from the media group, copying will be performed. And after a short pause, using Asensio.sleep, I'll clear the set using the clear method. During the pause, the bot will process the remaining messages from the media group. But since its ID is already in the set, copying won't occur again. Everything is ready, 
Now the code will work as intended. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, there's more interesting stuff coming.